Hello, welcome to this episode of the Tinker Vlog. My name's Bevan Cloutworthy for the Tinkerpot Games guys. Um, and hopefully today's going to be quite a short one. Uh, I Things have just been going a bit crazy in my life at the moment. Uh, between the renovations, the kids both being a bit sick, and just everything else has been going on, time has been quite short and quite tight. Uh, hence why, for this episode, I'm looking into sort of methods to try and increase my productivity. Because uh, one of the things I'm noticing at the moment is that if I've got a spare 15, 20 minutes in places, I'm just kind of like switching my brain off and I'm doing silly things like watching YouTube videos, you know, just turning my brain off or uh, I don't know, playing a bit of uh, like Pokemon Go or something like that, just to fill the time up, um, which obviously is not a very productive use of my time. And it's, but I understand why the brain does it. Does it to just kind of reset itself and chill out a little bit? But what I'd like to do, obviously, is keep pushing forward with my designs and things like that, because I've not done a huge amount of work recently, which is starting to sort of annoy me a little bit. Uh, hence why I've got my little list here. So what I'd like to do this week is use my coffee breaks at work. So I get about 15 minutes at work for my coffee break. And again, most of the time I just sit there watching YouTube videos or reading you know, Facebook or something like that. And what I'd like to do is turn it into something a little bit more productive. So I'm gonna use the hashtag coffee break BGD to try and get some um, work done. So each day I'm gonna use that hashtag and I send a little picture of whatever I've been doing that day, um, just to try and show that each week for myself that I'm actually you know, doing something each day. And I've listed myself five little tasks, one for each day that I'd like to get done. So design four variants of bubbles or on the back of that, I've actually hoarded the, the Bubbles cards. I got really excited about the, the prospect of trying to make that game work into something a bit more overarching, like Dobble or something. So I've actually ordered from GameCrafter and they're on their way. <clears throat> uh, designed 10 special Spoonicorn cards. So that's for the game Spoonicorns, where you're doing that ice cream thing from the last episode. Uh, review and redesign the power-up cards in Arcade Empire. Uh, so Arcade Empire is the kind of working title for my Pixel game at the moment where the idea is you're going to use like pixels to build levels and things in your console and then you're going to get people to come in and play it and when they play it the, um, certain things will convert and change and that kind of thing um, and yeah so s after some recent updates some of the power-up cards became obsolete because obviously they were referring to things or mechanics that didn't exist anymore so I need to have a quick look at those so that's another thing I can do in, hopefully in about 15 minutes uh, list the powers for Haunter Culture. So for those who don't know, um, the next game in the Ghost Or series is a little game called Haunter Culture, where you've moved out into the gardens and you're sort of you're now going out into the gardens to produce um, uh, flowers in a beautiful array for the head ghost of the house. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the things I'd like to do is look at an After Dark, um, not expansion, but like add-on that would sort of fit into the main game. And I want to list some of the powers for the different things that would uh, for for the items and elements that would come into that. Uh, and then the last one is to sort of look at the layout for the Spoonicorns rulebook. I'd like to try and do something a bit unusual with the rulebook in that there won't be a rulebook as such, but like a series of cards. So as you go down, you'll have like a stack of things and you'll take the top card and the top card will say, um, this is your layout. <laughs> then the, the next thing would be you flip it over and it's the cards. It's the cards for like the the... Uh, for the mountains or something, and that's how to set up the mountains and how to use them, for example. Um, no idea if it's going to work, but I reckon in 15 minutes I could get a quick kind of cheeky layout sorted out and done. Um, so yeah, essentially that's what I'm going to be trying to do this week. I'd love it if any of you guys could get involved as well. I'm going to do this for like, I don't know, we'll see how we get on for this week, but I'd like to run it for about a month, so do about four weeks worth of 15 minute coffee break, design something, you know, add something, change something, adjust something, correct something in one of the designs that I've currently got going on. And like I said, I'm going to be using the hashtag coffee break BGD. And if you guys want to get involved, I'd love to see what you're doing as well. Show me a little picture of what you've done in 15 minutes during your coffee break or 20 minutes, you know, however long you guys get, I don't know. <laughs> um, and maybe even a cheeky picture of what you've been drinking and eating, because uh, I'm myself, I'm quite partial to a nice, nice, nice hot cross bun. Uh, someone else brought in some lovely sort of, um, oh, was it M&M cookies? Oh, that was a good day. Um, <laughs> push that over there. And uh, yeah, I think that will actually do it for this episode. So yeah, like I said, uh, hashtag board, uh, get it right on it. Hashtag coffee design BGD. And I'd love to see what you, no, coffee design? Coffee break BGD. Hashtag coffee break BGD. I'll put that in the somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.